Hello everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video. So today I'm working in my Square Dilutions journal and I'm going to be working on a page um, where I create my own mask and stencil from one magazine image. So I've started off adding a thin layer of gesso to the page and then using one of Dina Wakeley's lovely wide brushes I'm adding um, some Amsterdam acrylic paint in greyish blue to the top third of the page. And then underneath, I am adding another stripe of ultramarine violet. These two colours blend really nicely together. And then I'm using permanent red violet light underneath. This is one of my favourite pinks, as you know. These three colours are so pretty together. Um, I will be using them more often. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with this uh, stencil from Dina Wakeley called Mini Favourites. And I'm just using a baby wipe and removing some of the paint through the stencil. Um, just to give that ghosting effect. It's a really easy technique to create some pattern really quickly. It only obviously only works really well if the paint is still wet enough to be removed through the stencil. So then I'm using the same colours um, through the same stencil. So this is the greyish blue and I'm using that sort of slight botanical uh, pattern and a blending tool and then the little square pattern in the middle with the, sorry about that wobble there, with the permanent red violet in light. Then I'm using the mantra stencil and the um, ultramarine violet. So I'm just building up the colours and the patterns and the texture on the background. Then I found this really cool image which is going to work really really well as a mask and a silhouette. So then I'm cutting it out really carefully making sure that um, I will be able to use both the image that I've cut out and the space that it's been cut out from. So you can see there I've got the, the page where I've cut it out from. So the first one I'm going to use is the actual face and I'm just getting some um, Night from Dina Wakeley and I'm going to use a blending tool and holding the image still I'm just going to add some paint around it overlapping so that when I move it away I have the face left on the page. So this is a really quick way to create that instant impact. If you haven't got any um, stencils or masks that you think would work, you can just grab a magazine and cut out a face. So then on the other page, I'm going to use the same colour. So again, I'm using night and then I'm using the page that it was cut out from as um, a stencil and I'm just adding the paint into that space, overlapping again the edges so that I get the pattern around. So this is a stamp from ScrapFX called Number Collage and I'm just using that with some purple ink and just um, adding some stamping into the spaces around the face on the right hand side. So then I'm using my white ink pad and a text stencil, it's actually a bit like a, a typewriter font I'm just adding some stamping to the edges of that blue that we added um, initially. Then using a white gel pen, I'm just adding some words onto the middle of the page. You can see it's a little bit tricky in some places. I oh, didn't like that bit, obviously it wasn't going quite well. Yeah, so because um, the acrylic paint underneath is dry and the pen was still wet, I could remove that mistake with a baby wipe. Um, it wasn't working so well going across the middle of the page. Um, so that's worth remembering that sometimes you can rub your mistakes away. I do enjoy using different fonts in my journaling as well. It's a great place to try things out. Um, I do have a little booklet of fonts that I've collected that I found online and I use that as sort of an inspiration when I'm struggling for ideas. So I'm just adding some Posca pen white dots onto the page, a bit of mark making um, around the edges. I'm 
then there was a lot of thinking about what was next. <laughs> so then just making some of the letters stand out a bit more. As in some places it hadn't quite gone on as bright as I wanted it to. And then I did some acemic writing around the sides of the heads, a bit of journaling. And there we go. That is the finished page. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a try. Don't forget to tag me if you do. Thanks for watching.